This is my intro song because all the songs in the world are copyrighted. And this is my page. It's called Out of Range. And here's my ugly face. And I gotta go. That's my song. Good morning. It's day 33. Day 33. And uh, it's snowing out. Only the second time we see snow in 33 days. And the first time was not a lot. Maybe 3 inches, 4 inches. So I don't know how much is coming, but hey, I want a lot of snow. Because... It should be snow. There should be snow in there to make the trail better. But B, we're kind of fucked for pulling the sleigh and walking out of here now. But we'll figure it out. So I'm going to flip things upside down today. I woke up and while I was making coffee, I was able to finish Tegan's, uh, Tegan's walking stick. I got the letters all burned in. So basically all that's left to do now is to trim the fur on top. But I'm going to let that sit for, uh, for a while till, uh, it cures properly because remember we soaked it so that's pretty much done when i get home i might cheat and put a coat of uh urethane or verethane over it because if you remember the heart and the bands is, we, we painted that with blood <laughs> so just to preserve it you know cheat a little bit put a little coat of urethane when i get home before i give it to her and uh, but that's done so our next project will be to cook so i don't know if we'll tackle that today uh like i said we're going to switch things up today I'm going to just drink this one coffee and then we're going to go to our uh, our newest fishing spot and we're going to fish the morning. It's probably about uh, 7.30 right now. We're going to try fishing the morning for a bet in the snow. We got that little teepee we can sit in so maybe I'll bring the crossword and uh, we'll try our luck in the morning. Why not? And then uh, also today we got to... Uh, we got to start melting snow, so we're going to rig a little thing with some jugs so that uh, it kind of just does it itself. We just got to collect snow. Okay, I'll see you out there.
do it, do it. Ah, oh, you fucker. Oh, I gotcha. Well, that didn't take too long, guys. Maybe five minutes, ten minutes. He's not big like the other day. There you go. Another little pan fryer. Same fucking hole. Oh, wow. I think I caught a minnow. Wow! Look at this, guys! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, puppy. Oh, we're gonna be real careful with you. Oh, come on now. There we go. Wow, guys. It's a fucking fingerling right there. Puppy. All right, we're gonna see you in about five years, chum. Oh, go the other way. Go the other way, there you go. Wow, this is a stocked lake. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think they were the, there would be any that small, you know? They're usually all the same size, like those pan sizers. That was probably last year's stock, and they only do it every second year. So that's weird. They do not. 100%. Well, I'm 95% positive these fish will not uh, spawn. They're stocked. Stockaroo. Unless there was some uh, some originals, but they've been stocking this lake for fucking probably 20 years, right? I doubt there's too many fucking original spawners left. So, very weird. Very weird to catch one that small. Oh, I just got a bite. Did you take my minnow, you fucker? No, you did not. Yeah, very weird to catch one that small. Usually if you catch one that small, there's a ton of them that small, right? Means they stalked it this year kind of thing. I don't know if I'm making any sense to you guys, but... Hair fishy fishy, hair fishy fishy, come on fishy. Okay, so morning fishing was not, not bad. It's just past 10 o'clock now. Uh, I think we're going to get started on this Cooksa project. So, like I was saying, a cooksa is just like a, a carved out wooden cup. It's like a cup. So, I don't know which piece I want to use. We got this one. We got this one. Right. Now, basically, it's a give you a top view so the top view is it's like a cup right but then it has a handle right and then the side would be like the handle would go like that and then like a cup okay now they're both kind of the same except this this grain goes all the way through and it's one piece and this one's a limb so I don't know which one would be easier to deal with. I'm thinking that once you get past all this bark and shit, there's not much left here. Although it's less carving too, right? <laughs> so... Okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut this limb and then we'll dig away at this bark and see how much beef there is there. And then if I'm happy with this one, the first thing we're going to do is burn out the top. You know, instead of 
having the, the, the cup and working on it and carving and burning. When it's a stump, it, you know, it's easier to, to work with. So we're going to carve out the hollow before we cut, before we shape the bowl. That's the plan. So let me cut this limb here and uh, we'll go from there. This, I would guess. What do you think, guys? Let's go. We'll leave a lot just in case. Something like that. Okay, let me hack away at this stuff here, and uh, we'll see what that looks like underneath. I don't even know if I'm recording right now. Hope I am. So I've got this rough outline here, very rough outline. We get the side profile, right? Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get my uh, one of my woodworking uh, diggers, and I'm going to dig out. I'm going to start a small depression right here so that when we start burning with coals, you know, it can kind of sit in that depression and we can fan it and uh, burn away, burn away at the hole. So that's the plan. This is probably, fuck, this is a green birch and it's frozen solid. So this is going to be, uh, it's going to be hard on the hands. But anyways, let me dig a little bit of a depression and uh, that's the next step now. I'm going to put a glove on because these are extremely sharp and we're really far from, uh, we're really far from a, uh, emergency room, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's going to take a while, but it's not too bad. Now I'm realizing that birch is probably not the ideal wood to do this with, but... Boreal forest, guys, is what we got. And this is not, I'm not making a cooksa because I need a cooksa and I want a cooksa, or I'm just making a cooksa because I'm looking for hobbies, man. It's a hobby. We're sitting out here we're all by ourselves, right? And uh, we're making vids. And uh, all the other out guy, outdoor guys got cooksas. But they probably pay fucking $180 for them online from fucking Sweden. I ain't about that life. I ain't about that life. I'll fucking make one myself. Okay? So I'm realizing that the grains are going this way. And that's the best way to carve. If you go this way, it doesn't quite work. Alright, I'm gonna dig away, guys. Fuck, that's hard on the hand. That's what I got. So we're gonna uh, we're going to drop a coal in here and uh, see if we can burn our way down. Probably something we have to do outside. Seems like we got a nice breezy day to keep the coal going, right? I like the nice breeze, so we'll just keep fucking feeding coals out of the stove on there and see how it works out. We 
What do you think? Think it'll work, guys? Uh, oh, hope so. Oh, it's starting to burn on that side. Okay, let's switch it so the wind blows that way. I see what's going on. I see the trick. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. It's gonna fucking work. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna work. All right, coffee break. Okay, we got that smoldering real nice. So let's work on water. We got a nice fresh snowfall. This is my plan. So we got this big empty jug, right? If I cut, if I cut out this square here, right? Then we can just easily scoop snow, right? And then I'm gonna tie this to it. Okay, loop that on it. Hang that right beside the stove. And when it turns to water, then we just pour it in this bad boy. Remember, uh, we used the bottom of the 60 pounder to scoop water out of the hole. Nice little funnel. Once the snow melts, and then grab more snow. That's my water making plan. Real simple. Like, that's enough water for a day. If I do that every day, we'll be good. We'll be good. Man, I've been checking a lot of snow in here. So, we hang that right fucking there. Oh, right there. That should melt in no time. And then uh, we put it in our our other bottle, cap it up and start it all over again. There you go, water filtration systems. So, I was just blown away at my little ember here and things were going good. And remember I said, let's not burn the shack down? Well, guess what? Beards are highly flammable. <laughs> oh my God, my face caught fire, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my fucking whole face was on in flames and it smells really, really bad. <laughs> Fuck. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's crispy. It's very crispy. Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> oh, man, I was... I wish I would have been filming that. I was just blowing on my coal and I... I'm like, what the fuck? And then... <laughs> I lit my face on fire. <laughs> Holy fuck. Whew. All right, guys. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I gotta shampoo my beard. It fucking smells so bad. It's right in my face, like constantly smelling burnt hair. I tried to. Anyways, I'm gonna take a little quick little uh, face fucking shampoo here. Quick little face, head and shoulder, head and shoulder and face. Starting to snow again. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. It smells like head and shoulders and burnt hair in here now. Oh, come on, man.
check this out guys that's the water just washing my beard <laughs> well my hands too right put my hands in there you think i need to fucking shower or what sponge baths are not working out my face still smells like burnt hair Almost lost you, eh, chump? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Fish fry again. Fish fry again. I'm gonna pull these lines up because uh, that's our limit. Oh. Got quite the uh, winter storm happening here. TP got blown over again. So I'm just gonna cover this shit and we're gonna go back and have a fish fry. Okay. Okay. Time for a fish fry. Just cover this. Just like. on my face earlier lost the hair on my knuckles just now it's getting there guys it's getting So it looks like that portable hut's about to go for uh Is she gonna go? Are we gonna go fucking find that thing at the other end of the lake? <sighs> Alright, let's grab some ropes and go batten down the hatches. We we tied it down this way, not that way, so those little ropes are probably maxed right out. We'll grab some cordage and uh we'll go tie her down. Fucking pushed the fucking sled right off the block. Look at that. How the fuck did that happen? It's fucking windy, guys. Okay. So these are holding nicely, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your fucking horses, chum. This is folded right over, eh? Probably shouldn't have tied to that. Let's do the four corners, maybe? Could be a smarter fucking idea. Huh? Jesus Christ. We should probably leave some fucking air through here. What do you think, guys? 
bit of air flow through. Never hurt nobody. That's still not helping. I still can't hold on to this fucking thing. Okay, guys, top line hitch. X. Two inside, one outside, remember? One, two inside, one outside. Okay. Come on now. Grabbing the wrong end. Okay. Okay, so we got the uh, the garage tied down, and by the time I got back, that wind, that little windstorm, was just a giving her, and uh, she dug a real deep hole. I don't know if you guys can see. It's starting to get a little bit too deep, and not wide enough. So I think that's all we're gonna get with the uh, with the coals. We're gonna have to dig the rest out and chisel our way through it. That's a pretty deep fucking coaxa, guys. Eesh. get rid of the coal and then have a base like it's gonna be a huge a huge cup fuck but I guess we can uh, we can take some of the top off if we have Quite the uh, winter storm out here, guys. Fucking brutal. Cabin's fucking shaking around. Uh, <sighs> Clean these two guys up, and that's supper tonight, guys. Supper tonight is fucking done. <sighs> It's fucking winter out here now, man. She's chilly, guys. And she's fucking dark. I can't see shit. Was it to eat fish tonight? show you where we're at with that kooks huh? so I was right it burned a, it burned really deep on this side so while I was sitting in here I put a big ball of uh, sorry the fucking GoPro died again in the cold so I put a big wad of aluminum foil on this side and dropped some coals on this side and just burned it in here as fucking smoky as shit but at least we got a better a more even bottom of the bowl there okay so that's where we're at and uh, so now that we know the bowl is uh, good to go, we're gonna, tomorrow we're going to start shaping it. We'll start like shaving away at the outer, at the outer, so that we have maybe a, I don't know three eighths of an inch around here. And uh, we'll cut in here like this, like this. We'll get rid of that. Just get rid of as much as we can before we start fucking whittling away, right? And then uh, once all that's done, then we got to get it just right. We might cut it. I might cut it too much. Like, I don't want to be too little, right? We'll cut it too much and work our way. Work our way to the bottom of this here. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to have a fish fry right now. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like later. All right. Sorry about the lantern, but the lighting is shit. This is what's up. I forgot that we had leftover 
We had leftover rabbit ragu, guys. So we got fucking fresh caught lake trout and rabbit ragu on a bed of rice. <laughs> That's what's up. Holy fuck. Uh, and then a little update. Remember I was farting around with that fucking cooks a thing? You know I couldn't just fucking sit here and not fart with it. So I've been digging away and digging away. It's getting there, guys. I don't know if you could see that. See that. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. I'm a little worried there's some cracks in it. Birch was not the fucking ideal wood for this, but I don't care. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to make it a quick fucking good night video because I want to pound this food. Uh, so today we were supposed to... We were supposed to make pitch glue today. But I got carried away with that cook cell. We went fishing early this morning. And uh, truth be told... I took an afternoon nap today. Passed right out. I laid down to uh, do a crossword and <clears throat> woke up. It was 3 o'clock. So, Anyways, uh, there's enough footage for an episode on its own. Uh, tomorrow we will make pitch glue and work on the cooksa. And that's all I got so far. And it's fucking still snowing. There's, uh, I'm going to say, 8 inches has fallen. But it's very windy, so there's drifts everywhere walking home is starting to sound like a real bad idea but we're gonna do it anyways someday okay let me dive into this food if you like this video like like it press like subscribe to the page a lot of the fun stuff okay i shall see you in the morning that's deuces <laughs>